Is that recording or is this just around? No, I'm recording. We, we wrapped it yellow. You're just colored. <laughs> wow. That wasn't even that wow. full. No. Everyone ate it all. What's in here? Werther's and Suckers. <laughs> That's pretty good. What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to Protective Film Solutions. We've got an epic video in store for you guys today. We have the Daily Driven Exotics Lamborghini Squadra Corsa. You guys have seen the videos in the past wrapping the cars. They've mainly been Damon's cars. We've been looking at the comments and Dave pays attention to. You guys give him a lot of for not doing a full wrap or livery on the car. So I think you guys are gonna be quite excited and impressed with what he's chose for today. So we're gonna get right into today's video, wrapping the Daily Driven Exotics Lamborghini Squadra Corsa. This car started off as a 2014 Lamborghini Squadra Course. Something that's kind of cool with this is that Dave owned this car originally about four and a half years ago. He bought the car back. As you can see, the car is no longer stock. Some of the cool things you're gonna see on this car is that it's got the full OEM Lamborghini race car rear diffuser. Really cool how it all integrates so well using some of the factory hardware as well. This is the larger swan neck style wing which has some uh, factory adjustments that you can change on the fly at the racetrack. One lightweight mod you can see that they've already began is the door delete. This car has been modified with a VF Engineering supercharger. I believe this adds about 200 horsepower to the car. VF Engineering does some great work. We've worked with them over the years. This is not only a massive jump in horsepower, but it's super reliable too. Dave will be able to get on the car, rip around, take it to the track, take it to meets, and not have to worry about the car breaking down. So we'll come around to the front of the car. This car had an added uh, race car bumper to it, to the existing bumper. And then of course you've got this massive carbon fiber front splitter, which actually ties in the aerodynamics underneath as well, which connects from front to rear. As you can see, the doors are off because this is getting a full body with door jams. With a car that's a neutral color like black or uh, maybe a dark gray, you can get by with leaving the door jams as is. On a car that's yellow or red or green, something that is not neutral, uh, you really wanna do the door jams in the matching color. In this case, as you can see, George is already working on one of the doors. It is going satin black. Big reason you're gonna wanna do satin black on a car like this, uh, especially with the guys over at DDE, you might not be keeping that same wrap on the car forever. So starting with a neutral color like satin black means that if you go to change out in the future, uh, which we've seen on Damon's SVJ about four times now. Having that neutral satin black allows us to leave it as is and just take the external wrap off. So if you guys are looking to wrap your car, two different options, but if you uh, are gonna wrap the door jams and you have a bright color, I always recommend going the satin black route. Also because the color that we're doing on this car is extremely unique. They called me about it a few days ago and I said, no, absolutely not. Do not do that color. It's a pain in the ass to work with. It's not gonna last very long, it's expensive. And they said, perfect, let's do it. So that color's here now. Dylan, do you wanna open the box and show them the color of choice for the DDE Squatter Course? Dave went all out on this one. And it is going to be a Avery, uh, yeah, a little disclaimer on there. This is not an easy color to work with. So this is the Avery Denison Gold Chrome. So we've got it wrapped up right now and protected. This car is going to be insane. It's going to, it's going to shine like crazy in the sun. It's going to be super easy to install too, right? Yeah, it's a little different. It does have tin in it, so yeah, you it's, have to not stretch it, not overheat it. But thankfully, it's kind of a flat car, so. Yeah, it's an easy car to work on, right? Yeah, a little bit. It's not easy at all. We try to talk the guys out of doing chrome colors for obvious reasons. Uh, the material is a bit thicker. Um, it is way more expensive. Um, you're talking, I think, about four to five times the cost of a traditional vinyl. It's not as durable. It's gonna want to scratch really easily. Uh, so we're definitely gonna do a ceramic coating on top of it. But it's unique, and it was one thing that they wanted to do and true DD fashion is kind of push the, the boundaries of it. So both Dylan and George are already currently jamming away on this project. We've got Brennan, Axel, Ralphie, the whole team doing teardown on it. So we're gonna show you guys kind of a behind the scenes look of what it takes to wrap this car. And not only is it a crazy car that's already been modified, but it's also got chrome added to it. So uh, let's show you guys what goes into wrapping this build.
so Dylan, you got the whole door jam done. How long did that take? Hour, roughly. Yeah, what's next? Wait for some PPF removal and do the roof and quarter panels probably. Hurt. So on this car, got a little little partial PPF right there. What's that gonna do to the vinyl if you put that over? It'll show a white line because it's chrome, so it'll show all the light going through there. So if you're planning on wrapping your car chrome, you gotta tuck all the edges for the PPF or you gotta take it off. Yep. What's going on with the hood? Some bubbles. Some failures. A little bit of bubbles right here. So Dylan, now that Jason's gone, what do you actually think about wrapping this thing chrome? Pretty sweet. Yeah? It's gonna take you a while, huh? Shouldn't take too long. How many days you got this for? Two months. Two months? Yeah, that should be enough time. So what makes it so hard compared to the regular film? Well, this this chrome has a layer of tin in it, apparently. So it's like some kind of metallic material inside to get this effect. Definitely doesn't stretch, doesn't take heat. Any of that will go to the material on top of scratching easy, so it's cool. not the easiest. What do you think of the chrome, Georgie? Beautiful, my friend, beautiful. Easy? Easy to install it. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> you are the best, my friend. So as you can see, the guys have been jamming on this project. I'd say we're probably about 75% of the way done with the car. So here's a good look at this car and what it's gonna look like with the Avery Gold Chrome. But yeah, it's kind of cool to see it starting to come together. Uh, one thing that you don't see on the car now is that the rear deck lid will stay satin black. And then uh, as well, we will continue the satin black on the roof. So what that'll do is kind of streamline the, the side of the car. We did see the comments and a lot of people were talking about the side skirt. So yes, the side skirt will be going satin black. And what that'll do is it will carry in the squatter carbon fiber front lip to the squatter rear uh, because it does not have the extra carbon fiber on the side. So we'll tie in a look and kind of bring it all together. A next look, we'll be doing the new graphics on it, doing final assembly, and then show you guys the completed project. You like working with that chrome, don't you? Yeah, it was kind of, felt like working with PPF the way we installed it, but it's almost done. We get sent over to calipers, get the calipers painted, and then time for graphics.
All right, guys, so you guys have been watching the process of what it took to wrap this car. I'm so excited to get this thing out in the sun so you can see truly what the chrome looks like. But yeah, they're putting the final bits on it now, the final PFS logos. We'll get the engine cover on. So let's bring this out front for Dave to take delivery. God, this thing looks insane. Let's get out of the car and take a look at this outside. crap this thing looks wild so this is an homage to a guido race car from about a decade ago as well as fast x and uh, the new gran turismo movie gold chrome is making a comeback and so the boys at dde want to be the first to capture it first time we're seeing this outside again really looking forward to seeing what it looks like in the sun but now you can take it all in all the yellow is wrapped in the gold chrome and then we have the traditional dde logos that are satin black with a white border all the way around we have dave's favorite number Number, his race number number 33 of course we got the pfs logo up front a big thing that a lot of you guys were talking about with dave is that he's not putting on the squadra side rockers so now you can really take it all in that the side of the car we thinned it out adding the side skirt and satin black that we talked about earlier in the video that really ties in the front splitter down on the front and carbon fiber to satin black on the side to the rear spats on there. So hopefully that kind of ties in the full look that you guys were talking about with it missing the center section. Cause again, this is a street car. So at the end of the day, adding that side skirt just makes it a lot less drivable and the boys at DD need to be driving their cars. So I really like the way this whole thing came out with the, the gold chrome and satin black. All right guys, so that's gonna wrap up today's video. Great job for the DDE crew for putting together an epic build. Big props to my guys for doing a badass job. Chrome is not a fun color to work with. It's just a harder material. It's definitely more expensive. So I really hope that the boys at DDE love this new look. Dave, you did a great job designing the car, seeing it all together. It all makes sense. And hopefully you guys think so as well. I like to hear guys comments. So comment below, thumbs up or thumbs down for the uh, gold chrome. It doesn't really matter because Dave loves it, which is all that matters. But, uh, and also Monterey Car Week. Do you think this is gonna be Dave's car for Monterey? Or do you think it should be the 599 build? So comment below. We'd love to hear your thoughts on that. But again, that's gonna wrap up today's video and we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Got some nitrous in there. It's empty. That's just compressed air at this point. How fast does the thing go? I mean, faster, but it just slips the transmission. Nice. All right, bye. <laughs> yeah, I did 20. 20? Every 20. What's nine plus 10? 40. 40? Yeah. What's up you guys? Today we are showing you the process of putting the front bumper on a Lamborghini Gallardo. Is this thing on? I don't think so. 